you've got a tall container like this to fill up to do a soil arrangement in, you don't want to be filling this whole thing with foam. That would cost you a fortune. So I'm going to show you what to do. Pay attention here. You've got bubble wrap, newspapers laying around your house. Use that. Take the bubble wrap. Now, the skinnier piece here, it's going to be hard to roll it up, so you just got to feed it in however you can. Start stuffing it in without popping any of it. You have to roll it up kind of tight here. That works. And then kind of twist it to get it in there. Carefully beat it. <laughs> do what you gotta do, but try not to pop them. There it goes. Skinny necks can be problematic. Once you get it past that part, you'll be okay. Oop, there goes one. Two. Oh, there it goes. It's in there. Stuff it down there pretty good. You can also use styrofoam like this, but it doesn't take up the whole space, so I like the bubble wrap, but if you've got bigger chunks of styrofoam, use it. And then I have some smaller pieces, but it's firm bubble wrap. Stuff that in there. Because you can't, really can't, when you've got a container that's wide like this, it's pretty much impossible to fill it up with, with wall foam. So you've got to do something like this. So I recommend using what you have and just stuff it full. And you want to go about to the skinny part of the neck. Get it in there. That is pretty firm. So now you're going to take your floral foam. This is your six pack of foam. Semi hard, soft for silk floral arrangements. And now you only need one brick. So take you a Knife. Where did my knife go? There it is. A knife would kind of eye it to where how big you're going to need it up here at the top. And this piece here, you're going to cut a piece off that fits firmly down into this part of the neck. So just kind of figure eye it. Cut that off. You get a piece about that size. See if that fits down in there. It will. But I'm going to shave, shave some of the corners off so it. So the foam is kind of the same shape as this container here, and it's going to fit down in there a little bit further. Press it in there really good. Now you've got this brick here, and it sticks out almost halfway. You don't want it to be quite up to the top anyways. So I'm going to slice this in half long ways. So I've still got a piece the size of the neck there. So now I've got two pieces this size. Yeah. And I want them to fill up this top, top area here really good. So I'm going to shave part of the corner off on this one too. And the corner of this one. So they fit in there. Glue these two together. Yeah, they're not going to quite fit in there. That piece, and then this one's going to go about halfway. Better to cut it too big than too little, because then you'll have to cut a whole new piece if you make it too small. And that's a little bit too big, so I'm going to shave it off again. Do an eighth of an inch. And that's almost ready, so I'm going to glue one little uh, more slice here. Tiny, tiny, tiny slice. And then I'm going to glue these two together with my glue gun. Have your glue gun going. And hopefully it's not a windy day out. So put these two end to end like that. Glue them together. Line it up. Push it. Let it dry. 
Now I've got a piece that almost fits. So I'm going to shave that off a little bit more. So it's more like that. And it's going to go upside down in here. And now it fits perfect. So when you get a perfect fit, glue it. Just gob your glue on there really good. All the way around on your sides, make sure it all sticks. Having a windy day like this doesn't help. And then, once your glue gun heats up again, start going around, do your corners, just gob it in there really good. The corners secure it. The gun needs to heat up a little bit. But I have one all done so you can see what it looks like. This is the other one. See the glue there? That's what you want it to look like. It's flat, even, and you're ready for your moss. So, there you go.